السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن شاء الله بالفيديو ده هنطلع مرة واحدة بخطوة واحدة معادلة ال pulse transfer function من الرسم in just one example in one step we will have c of z from the circuit طيب حلو uh, the question here السؤال بتاعنا هنا هو هل في sampler between if there is a sampler between this and that and this and that and this and that هل في sampler بينهم ولا لا لو كان في sampler هيبقى ليه حل if there was no sampler it will be another solution so look for that if there is a sampler it will be a solution if there is no sampler it will be another solution okay let's look at this example for instance when we write we have here okay one plus and then here and this here what we write here we look this way we don't look at the feedback مش بنبص على الفيدباك بنبص فوق خالص as if it was open loop لكنها open loop بالظبط okay so here we write the open loop function and there we, we write the uh, open loop okay open loop means there is no feedback no feedback here no feedback so h will never be put this way in this example h will never be put this way okay but here will be the gain we can write the r and we write the gain طيب let's look at r is there a sampler between r and and f and g هل في sampler between بين the r will gain r في sampler then you're going to take r of z بالوحده alone and then g of z alone بس طب if there was no sampler طب لو ما كانش في sampler let's see if, if there was no sampler because this is the concept that we're going to work on this example if there was no sampler like this then these two will be linked together يبقى الاثنين دول هيرتبطوا ببعض فده معناه ان تبقى r g of z this is the concept that we're going to work on all the examples. Okay, for this example, we're going to have a sampler. Okay, so it's going to be R of Z, G of Z. So, okay. Type 1 plus number of loops, closed loops. Here we write number of number of loops okay we multiply the gain the feedback and we don't write r in the here number of loops to have gain or feedback or both or well, gain or feedback or any haga gain is g and feedback is h okay Okay, so let's see. Let's see what we have. So we're gonna have, we're gonna look all the circuit. We're gonna make a loop this way. Okay, but we're not gonna look at this. We're not gonna look at the R. Just G and H. G and H. Okay. Is there a sampler between G and H? Is there a sampler here? Or here? Or here? Okay, remember that. If there was sampler here, then it will be G. If there was sampler this way, it will be G of Z alone and H of Z alone. Because there is a sampler here, and there is a sampler here. Okay. Okay. Let's just we're gonna have more examples. I'm gonna have more examples. So I'm just gonna not push. Let's have here no sampler. There is no sampler. Then it will be G H of Z. Tab el far. What is the difference? The difference simple. You're gonna have 
g multiply by h first then you're gonna get the z transform يعني الفرق هنا انك بتضربهم الاول بتضرب g of s في ال h of s then you're gonna get the z transform of them لكن فوق then you're gonna have r of s I give you're gonna have the r of z alone يعني اجيب r of z ل r of s لوحدها بعد كده اجيب g of a g of z for g of s alone then you're gonna multiply them there is a difference of course between that and that في فرق طبعا كبير جدا فده اول مثال عندنا في امثله كتير ان شاء الله وده اول مثال let's take another example okay no this one is not correct okay this example let's look at here one plus number of loops this is a standard this is like standard دي حاجه ثابته تعال نبص فوق بقى فوق we write inputs and gain we don't look here we we'll just look this way so we have r there's a sampler between r and g so r will be alone r of z alone تمام كده R of Z لوحدها عشان في سامبلر بين الاثنين دول نبص على كده G of Z G1 of Z and G2 of Z or G2 of S G1 of S and G2 of S Is there a sampler between them? A oh, في sampler between them وبالتالي دي لوحدها ودي لوحدها G1 of Z لوحدها then G2 of Z G1 of Z alone G2 of Z That's fine Number of loops. We have here one loop. This loop. We have this loop. تمام كده؟ دي loop واحدة بس. طيب. هل هناخد ال inputs? No, we're not gonna look at the inputs. This example. Okay. We have only gains and feedback. Okay. Let's look from here. From here, we have this gain g1, g1 of z. Is there a sampler? Yes, there is a sampler again g1 of z alone and g2. Let's look at g2. Is there a sampler between g2 and h2? Healthy sampler between them, between them, my sampler. Then g2, h2 of z. Okay. So the samplers are very, very important. Samplers are very, very important. They can change the question. They can change also the answers. Taalam busalam sel tani. Let's look for another example. For instance, this one. Okay. So let's write one plus number of loops. This is standard. It has a derivation and fees bet tabas. Just look at this one. So let's look. Can we just change the color? Okay, and let's look this way. When we write this one, we look this way. Then we take the past together, but most of that. طيب. Is there a sampler between R and G? لا ما فيش sampler. هل في sampler between G واحد و G اثنين؟ لا ما فيش sampler. There is no sampler between this one or this one. Okay. So this means we're gonna have R, G one, G two, Z. There is no sampler between R and G, and G one and G two. So all the three will be multiplied. Then we're going to have the Z transform of them. Okay. Then one plus number of loops. Number of loops. We have G one and G two and H, and there is no sampler between them. So we're going to have the G one, G two, H, Z. Okay, there is no sampler 
between all of them there is no sampler here uh, here or here or here or here we look we look this way okay no samplers okay let's see another example most of them saltani we want to have the c of z equal one plus number of closed loops number of loops okay look this way from the input r is there a sampler between input and g of oh, sampler yes there is a sampler then for this reason it will be alone r of z alone okay then we're gonna stay here we are here now g1 we look here is there a sampler between g1 and g2 no sampler if he's sampler him the man and all g2 of z g1 g2 of z then we multiply the gain then we're gonna have the z transform of this gain g1 and g2 that's awesome. let's look down let's look down the bus okay let's look here number of loops we have here one loop this way we take only the gain and the feedback so we're gonna look at the gain here g1 and g2 is there a sampler between them there is no sampler so it will be g1 g2 is there a sampler between g2 and h1 we look here okay if he's sampler, there is no sampler, then it will be H1. Is there a sampler between H1 and H2? Yes. Then we'll stop here and then it will go this way. Now we are here. H2. Is there a sampler between H2 and G1? No sampler between G2, uh, H2 and uh, G1. Then it will be the G H two and G one. Yes. Then it will be H two of Z alone. Okay. More examples. Another example. C of Z equal one plus. Okay, the input. Is there a sampler between these two? Yes. So the input will be alone. It will be written R of Z alone. Okay, we are here now. Uh, G1. Right, G1. Is there a sampler between G1 and G2? No sampler. Then it will be G1, G2 over all Z. And that's here this way now we're gonna look down over all the loops all the loops but we're gonna look at gain and uh, feedback G and H let's see here we're gonna start from here G1 and G2 is there a sampler a fish sampler the G1 G2 we look here. Is there a sampler between G2 and H1? Yes. Then we will stop here and say the Z. We are here now. H1. Okay, I'm just change the color for you. H1. Okay, we are here. Is there a sampler between H1 and H2? No sampler than H1, H2, overall Z. Okay. Is there a sampler between H2 and G1? No. Uh, yes, there is a sampler then. 
it won't be linked okay okay last example let's have c of z equal to one plus add in here we're gonna look this way is there a symbol between r and g no assembler then it will be r g of z one plus g is there a symbol between g and h here yes but here don't be here there is no sampler here but when you go this way yeah sorry there is a sampler here and if you sampler him but when you go this way you will see that there is no sampler here again when you go this way start from g you will see that there is a sampler between g and h from this side but when you go this way you will see that there is no sampler no sampler from this side then if it at least there is no sampler from one side then it will be g h of z so you must take care if you want if you want to write it as g if you want to write it g of z h of z then there must be sampler from both sides from this side and this side there must be a sampler okay like we took in the previous examples again again we write we we'll start from here is there a sampler between g and an h healthy sampler yes from this side but when you look for the other side here this side there is no sampler so as long as there is no sampler from one side okay then it will be g h of z remember this one if there is sampler from both sides for example okay this way then something will change for this reason it will be r of z along the r of z then g of z then when we look here g of z alone because there is sampler from both sides and then h of z I hope this is clear. أتمنى إن إحنا عملنا cover لكل الأفكار بتاعة البوست ترانسفير فانكشن. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. اشترك في القناة. Share this video. انشر الفيديو ده مع أصحابك. Because this these information is very valuable. معلومات دي مهمة جدا عشانك. شوفكم في فيديو تاني إن شاء الله. والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. See you soon guys. Bye bye.